Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. It's been such a long time, but finally new episodes of Miraculous Ladybug are here. Sure, there's been episodes available online, but I wanted to wait for it to officially return. I have to be a good role model, right? After a long wait, I'm glad that the episode we returned on was The Mime. If you're going to be on hiatus, you'd better come back on a strong note and not a disappointing one. It wasn't all wonderful though, but I'll get to that in a minute. I believe I recall people telling me that I would love the mime as a villain. Oh boy, do I. His powers are not of the visual sort, of course. <laughs> but it's a brilliant idea that I don't know if I've seen before, but at least not in years. I'm sure there was a mime episode somewhere in all the cartoons that I've watched. And as with all great powers, it does come with certain limitations. Namely, that he can only mime one thing at a time. I think that's probably writing 101. If you're going to use abilities or magic or whatever in your stories, it needs to have some rules, some limitations. So, kudos to the writers of this episode. The subplot of Marinette accidentally erasing Alia's video of Ladybug was certainly funny, if not ground we've already covered in previous episodes, from what I remember anyway. So, I don't plan on praising that particular part of the episode that highly. However, as I said, it did lead to some funny moments, such as this one towards the end of the episode. Show me! Only after I put it on my blog. There's no way I'm gonna lose this video. Hey! <laughs> Aw, so cute. Above, I said that not all was great about this episode, and the moment I'm speaking of is the Eiffel Tower being cut in half by the mime. That bugged me because it was apparently all part of Ladybug's plan for him to catch it. But you don't anger a villain so badly, he cuts down a huge monument that could kill people because you think he'll probably catch it with his mime powers. Maybe it's just because I recently saw Captain America Civil War, but it strikes me as the most irresponsible thing Ladybug has ever done. That could harm civilians anyways. So yeah, while seeing the tower being cut down was as epic as people told me it would be, it ultimately was an eye-rolling experience for me. I guess it's lucky for Ladybug that everything goes back to normal by episode's end, huh? I guess I should probably take that into account and probably think that maybe Ladybug knew that even if something bad did happen, she would win and the, everything would go back to normal. But still, very irresponsible. But... But, it was definitely still a strong return for Miraculous Ladybug. An incredible new villain, with interesting powers, some great action sequences, and a somewhat humorous subplot involving a deleted video. Not to mention, it really feels as if things are heating, uh, th th things are coming to a boil with Hawk Moth. I know at the end of an episode he usually gives the whole, I will get you spiel. But this time, this time it makes me think we're heading towards a big confrontation with him. Or maybe I'm wrong and this really is just more empty talk from our head honcho. Well, that's been my review of The Mime. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care.